there were some people that would get to the hospital, they would be injured, and then they would never do anything, and they would just, I don't know what people's mental states are, how they deal with it. Maybe some people just don't, I don't know. They don't have the support system. I don't know what it is. Um, and kept trying things. So we kept saying, you know, yeah. oh, it'll be a year. And then after the first year came, it was like, okay, no more than in a year. And then another year. And it was three and a half years <laughs> later. And we would have never imagined that it was going to take that long. I mean, we watched so many people come in, rehab, get on with their lives and leave. And we were like stuck there. And what's it like now? It is so much better. Um, not having to put the wheelchair in the car every time and get it out everywhere we stop. <laughs> Did you ever, were there ever any doubts that you'd get to this place? Where he'd be walking like this? Um, I knew that he was determined to walk. However, yeah, I definitely thought this day is never coming. <laughs> like, it's gonna, it's just, it's taking so long. And you get frustrated. You see other people, they're done with rehab, they're out, they're on with their lives. And I mean, you're still friends with them on, say, Facebook, or, and you're scrolling through and you're like, oh, wow, that must be nice to have a house. And uh, you're already starting your family and your life. And we're just sitting here waiting on pause, you know, well, we don't have to do that anymore. He can walk out the front door now, and it's amazing. <laughs>